Good morning. This is Abdelfatta Monir representing Prime Hub Consulting Services. This morning I'll be taking us through how to record employee loan, that is the loan given to an employee by the employer, that is the organization or the company, and how to now go about deducting this loan when paying this employee, that is paying the employee the net of the loan. So first of all, we are now making use of employee center here in QuickBook. So we are now making use of it. It's two ways. You can either make use of employee center or you make use of vendor. Now I'm making use of vendor because I'm paying the employee. So I can refer the employee as a vendor. So I'll quickly go to vendor and add an employee there. So I can signify with the name. So new vendor, I click on new vendor. Okay, hold on. Then the vendor name, I will use Yakubu. Yakubu Abdurrahman. Yakubu Abdurrahman, then I can signify as employee. Okay, then when I come to this place also, I signify as employee. Then I can add Mr. Mr. Then the first name is Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman. Then the last name is Yakubu. Yakubu. Okay. I can stop here and <coughs> proceed. So, okay. I've created an employee using vendor center because we are paying this employee. So that's why I can make use of vendor center. If you don't want to make use of QuickBook employee center, most people prefer using vendor and everything is okay. So the next thing you are going to do, you go to chart of accounts to check. We need like three accounts here. <clears throat> First of which is payroll expense account. So let's you can go to chart of account through this side or through this list. Click on list, see chart of account or control A, whichever you can go to chart of account. So I already opened chart of account, that's why you can see it on my open window list. Now we have payroll expense as payroll expense account. Here yeah, we need that one. Then we need cash account. You can see we have less cash, I guess, 3850 uh, 3, So I'm going to be making my record. Though you can still go ahead and record more than what you have here. And maybe I can pay Yakuba Drama 50,000. It will only show negative. So but I want to stay within this figure. I want to stay within 3000. So let me see the salary is 3000. And I'm giving him loan of 500. This is just for illustration purpose. So now we need payroll expense account, which is here. Good. We need the cash account that we are going to be paying from, which is here. Good. Then we need an employee loan as other current asset. I created this account. You understand? How do you create the account? You right click and click on new. And you click on new. We are going to select other current asset because you are giving loan to this employee is your is your company's current asset. As far as the loan is being paid within a month, you understand? Within a year, I mean to say. So within is, is maybe monthly loan or thereabouts. So if you choose other current assets, you even see from description here, prepaid expenses, employee cash advance, you can see inventory loans from your business. That is within one year. They are all current assets. So that is how I continue. I click on continue. Then I input the name here as employee loan so i have created the account already i am just showing us how i did that so i can cancel the now we have this account so i can go ahead now and go to uh 
I can actually okay if I go home now, I can write a check. You understand? Or go to check register and go about the, uh, this record, or I can also easy easily do that making journal general journal entry so i can record everything at once now as normal as journal entries so first of all we are paying so we are paying this employee loan account so we are giving an employee loan and money is going out of the cash so i say this 500 right so i'm going to make this of 500 then 500 now once i've recorded this it will appear in the employee loan account so i just want to show us how it will appear first i would have just go ahead and record all the transaction now but let me show us how it will affect the uh, balance sheet financial position so save and close save and close you see now that our cash will have reduced you can view balance through here cash have reduced to 3350 for me it was 3850 so it has reduced to 2350 now when you go to report go to company and financial go to balance sheet when you go to balance sheet you see that there is other current asset there is that 500 you can see other current asset 500 so that's what i just want to show us so let's go ahead and uh, go with the process so we are going to company home um, make general general entries now i have to record everything at once or well, except i want to still show us how it will affect the account so now since we've paid 500 to the loan account we are now it has reached when we are going to pay now at the end of the month now we want to pay this yakub abdraman now so uh okay before that i was supposed to do something here this record I'm supposed to okay. I was using self here before. Um, okay, let's go ahead. I was supposed to indicate the description, the memo, and the name. You understand? That was it. So now we want to now pay. Okay, we are creating our cash account. So we want to pay a Yakub of Draman. So I'm going to look for payroll expense. I debit payroll expense and I credit cash account with. Uh, two five, right? Yeah, two five. So, though the payroll is not two five, oh, the monthly salary is uh, three thousand. So we've already uh, deducted. Uh, we've given a loan of five hundred. You understand? So I'm going to show us how we are going to transfer that loan to the payroll expense so that it look like uh, the complete payroll package. So I'm going to now uh, signify here monthly salary, monthly salary less less loan so that's your description so i'll copy then the control v i paste then in the person of yakubu abdraman as an employee in the person of yakubu abdraman so that transaction is okay now so i cannot go ahead now now since i've this transaction means i've paid sally to five after i record everything will now go to their places so now what if i want to now transfer i want to make this payroll okay let me just save and close so that we'll see the effect of this transaction i think it will be better that way yeah so now i want to check my balance sheet now employee payroll is still 500 as other current asset right okay now our petty cash now is 850 we've paid 25 now what is that 25 it is a payroll expense you cannot see it here you go to reports company and financial profit and loss standard so while you are here see the payments i guess you can see we have payroll expense this is not the first payroll expense if i want to make it within just today I can click on this just to down to see for today alone so third of march to third of march that's what i want to see this transaction is for a period of this month so i have made transaction yesterday and there about let me refresh that okay okay if it's still showing if it's still showing you can double click on the item so payroll 
expense i will double click on this to see that figure you can actually click on it to break down you can see that we have two five here as monthly salary for yakubu abdrahman so two five has been paid these ones are you can see that the other transaction i carried out, trans I carried out transaction today for salary for yaya then even yesterday so that's why all this but if you look at it now you see the particular figure two five we just paid so now let's go back to junior entry and now complete the transfer from the loan account to the payroll so that you look like that ten thousand. So it's a very easy something to do. And let's go ahead, click on. So we are actually debit crediting one and debiting one. So we are debiting payroll. We are taking to payroll. We are taking out of employee loan 500 so i'm going to use indicate 500 and indicate 500 then i will give a description you can say transfer transfer of loan okay transfer of loan to payroll yeah I can just leave it like that depending on which description you want so i'm copy that now 